back out there. And, and unfortunately, because they won the uh, uh, toss and deferred and everything, uh, we had to do something in the third quarter when we had the win. And uh, they were going to go into the win in the third quarter. And uh, knowing they were going to have it in the fourth quarter, a field goal could make a difference in the ball game. We had to play great in the third quarter. How great is this? This is a fourth down play that they don't make it. They're going into the wind, so rather than kick, because it may not go very far, that's a fourth down play that uh, turns it over. And Josh comes right back with a great uh, run, again, trying to get us off our end of the field. A little rain jacket, we broke out after a couple <laughs> of things. This is fourth down and one. We decided to go for it on the very first series. We just felt they were so gifted that we had to keep the ball, control the clock, and as, as you see, we end up controlling it for 39 minutes. This is a third down and 12 play. And we run the option on third and 12. And we felt uh, there's no better play and give it to Spencer and see what he can do on it. Here he is again making a great, great a second effort play. And Spencer has done that time and time again. He has proven, boy, the leg drive that he gets. I, I just love watching this guy do his thing. And he gets four or five extra yards all the time because he can accelerate right now. I mean, he's like one of those dragsters, boy. I mean, they're at top speed right initially, and that's the thing that's made him really an excellent back. Good blocking. Look at Byron go there. Look out there, umpire. Texas still playing hard. You see him gang tackling. They had five or six guys around the ball, to their credit. And uh, it's still, you know, nobody's scoring here in this third quarter. It's still back and forth, man. And uh, two-point lead isn't just a whole heck of a lot because <laughs> one play, one miss, one long run, one long pass puts you in field goal range, especially with them with the uh, wind in the fourth quarter. So it was getting down kind of close. Another great play by Aaron. Jay Lamey coming up. Indy Kalu, he has a great day. Super job. Isn't that good to see Emmett out there? Oh, Emmett yeah. Waldron getting to play. Senior, he, he wanted to intercept that one. <laughs> But it's great having him back. He'll They're continue go more playing time. Oh, definitely will. Great thing. This hit him in the hands, but Warwick didn't give up on the ball. It hit him in the hands, and while he was reaching to pull it in, we knocked it out. That's great defensive play. That's a big job, ND. We need that. We need that. How do we go, ND? Get yourself over there and get on back and make another play. <laughs> and he did. See, excited. Yeah, he yeah. comes right back with the next play. Now watch him again. Come around the corner, grab him by the shoulder. No tearaway jerseys anymore. He's you, so quick to the ball, Coach. He's quick. And you can see the rain just now coming in torrents right at this particular time. I guess we know how to play in the rain anyway some, man. That's four, <laughs> fourth out of five games. So that's one most unusual thing. Now you see starting the fourth quarter, the rain completely stopped. There's nothing. And we've got them backed up. We played the screen pass well. Tremendous job. We got him backed up. We want to keep him backed up. That was important. Derek Rutherford with a play. I think you see our guy play with a lot of emotion, and that's important. A lot of enthusiasm. That's a having fun. Josh makes a big 17-yard run. We're down on the 22-yard line. All this was set up by a good field position and really that 11-yard sack by our mm -hmm. defense on the first play of the screen pass. This is a good run by Spencer. Again, four yards on first down. Really key to get some positive yards on first down. We got to continue to have that. Chad Nelson, their quarterback, will be a good one here. We hand the ball to Spencer. A good run for another five yards. Again, a little something new we'd put in for this ball game, and uh, it turned out pretty good. And now you're first and goal. First and goal. Spencer almost breaks loose on one here in a minute. Uh, earlier, he had missed a play that would have been a big one. Then second and goal, and that's a pretty nifty play right here. Well, second and goal. We felt we got on the corner. Great throw right into play. Super catch. And, uh, I mean, that's big. Now, that's 18 to 10, Matt. Which is with an eight-point game, this is how big this uh, extra point is. Extra point is. You've got to have... 19, 18 points. They could have gone for two then mm -hmm. on their last score, but we got the extra point. Matt Hillsman kicked it. <clears throat> Mike Wilson had a great snap. Kurt Roper, just a tremendous, uh, important person on our team, held for us. Joe Davis. How many times have we seen Joe make big plays in this ball game, man? <laughs> a number of them, and he'll just keep doing it. Well, we're doing a good job. They're throwing the ball. They're hitting some of the guys. He's putting the ball in the money. Shay Lorenz is back. Well, I mean, after I thought he played a, 
a great game as a quarterback, putting the ball on the money. Uh, he missed a couple of passes, and you're going to miss some. That happens right here. But we, I thought we created a lot more pressure maybe. Another big play. Fourth down pass here. Fourth down pass. They felt they had to go for it. They're trailing two scores. They decided to go for it, and we hold them. That was a big, big play. They get the ball back. <clears throat> we end up turning the ball over, and they're going to end up getting the ball back. And uh, here they come right back at us. But they've got to hit two fourth down plays eventually to make something happen. This one, just a little bit off to the right. So while they're down two scores, and that one was a very pivotal field mm -hmm. goal, just as the one we missed was a very pivotal field goal, then this is a big one too. Our fans were there, and the mob and all folks couldn't be happier. Couldn't be happier for our championship teams that were there too, man. Oh, yeah, it was the reunion of champions and everything going Rice's direction, and here is another big play, Bobby another pass Dixon. breaker. Great job, Aaron Stanley, Bobby Dixon. What do you say? This is, I think, is one of the key, key plays of the game. Third down play, we sack Larry Izzo Saxon. Now, the biggest thing here shades down a little bit. They call a uh, official's timeout for an injury timeout, and then we forced them to use a timeout. Otherwise, and it comes down, they score, Watch this play. Get it, Ed. Isn't that great for a senior to hold on the ball? They only had like a minute and 20 seconds left to go in the game. We knew we could eat the clock up, and uh, and we did. We were able to run the uh, clock down. Our favorite play is to uh, protect the quarterback. <laughs> the only catch Ed made on the night, and it was a huge it was one. A big one. It was a big <laughs> one. It's one that senior will long remember. Oh, too. you bet. Uh, and, uh, yeah, Ed never worries about his stats. He just worries about wins and losses. And look at these guys celebrating, 19 to 17. The Owls going to beat Texas, and they get the final snap, and the celebration is on. Well, it's uh, deserved it. I mean, they've worked extremely hard. We came out. We haven't won this ball game. We played extremely hard in the game. And uh, it was a great release of tension for 28 years, man, for all fans. For a lot of those other teams, for all those other teams that have come so close, we just thank you all for setting it up and, and for staying true to the Rice House, to this team, and to the whole program, man. That's what it's all about. But the fun, the enthusiasm, this is a game. Football is a game. And this is all, uh-oh, it's also <laughs> a bath time. And there's John McAvick, a tremendous man and a great coach. And Coach, uh, you come back, you're the coach of the decade in the 80s in the Southwest Conference, and you are undefeated in the Southwest Conference <laughs> coming back here in the 90s. How well, is that? I don't know, boy. We need goalposts. I know that, though. But, uh, <laughs> well, we started off well, man. We have improved each and every week, and that's what, you know, <clears throat> I like to see about our team, and we just see if we've made as much improvement. This was a great moment for all of our folks who got the rest of those goalposts. I don't know what the heck they did with them, but uh, they got them someplace, and uh, I guarantee you they'll be special for a long time, man. The task at hand this afternoon is Texas A&M. How tough will it be to keep your team focused, get them down, back?